Hi, I'm Kelly Malone for Connection. I'm joined by Mitch Doctor, Commercial Master Trainer for North America at Microsoft. In this episode of Inside Access, we're looking at Windows 11 Pro and the modern devices that support it and the way modern users work. Hi, Mitch. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Great. So take us through some of the important advancements users will notice right away when upgrading from Windows 10. Yeah, and I think one of the biggest things is that users become more productive. They can literally get more work done. And we have seen that users are 15% more productive by literally just moving from 10 to 11. So let's look at a couple of reasons why that is. And why don't we okay. jump down to our brand new Windows 11 Pro device to take a look. All right. So the first big thing that users will notice is that the start menu has moved and it's a kind of centered and mean to be kind of centered in your world. So we'll hit the start menu and we'll take a quick look. So to make Windows 11 a little more familiar to that end user, we're gonna go here into our taskbar settings by right clicking on the taskbar. I'm gonna maximize our settings menu, make it a little bit easier for everybody to see. And we're gonna to go to taskbar behaviors. And from here, we'll see the taskbar alignment. We'll go to, from center to left. And now we have our start menu left okay. justified. Yeah. Kind of, you know, as everybody goes, oh, the normal start menu, right. right? So I'm gonna bring it back to center and let's talk about what Windows looks like and what that actual start menu looks like here. The new start menu in Windows 11 allows you to tons of personalization. And the first thing I really like is the idea around recommended. Recommended will show you applications or documents or different things, even a website, for instance, that maybe you go to all the time. The same Excel file you put data into day after day, it'll just sit there. You don't have to go looking for it or opening it. All you'll do is click once and it'll open in the correct application. Now, there's even a further personalization. I think one of the really neat things is decluttering your start menu and decluttering your life. So what we can do is we can actually take applications just like you would on a modern uh, mobile device, for instance, and stack that up into a folder. Let's name this folder Office, because that's what it is. And now I have all my Office programs all in one place. That's super efficient. And what about multitasking? Because we're all in more than one place at the same time. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the last time I was on one window at a time, yeah, right? right? So why don't we open and back up our settings menu real quick. And say I want to look at settings and maybe I have directions on a Word document or something that I'm looking at. So what I can do is grab that actual window and I'll drag it to the top of my screen. You'll notice Windows is so smart that it understands the screen size and how many windows I have and gives me a bunch of different options on how to align this screen. So for instance, I want this settings to be a little bit larger. And you'll notice I have a Word document open in the background. Windows 11 is so smart that it goes, oh, well, this is in the background. Obviously, you want to put it next to this. And now you literally can be in two places at once. So Accessibility is a hot topic. Huge. How do modern Windows 11 Pro devices promote equitability? Yeah, and I think that's huge. And uh, for the very first time here in the settings menu, I want to bring your attention to an actual settings menu just for accessibility. accessibility. Is that, it's, it's literally that easy. So there's incredible accessibility things in here, whether we want to change text size or one of my favorite things around accessibility is as simple as uh, making a cursor really nice and big to see. Now we'll go down our breadcrumbs here and back to accessibility because there's one other giant new feature to call out and that is system-wide live captions. Wow. The idea of being able to have captions on a video that we're literally recording right now and putting that on a computer and having live captions on that without any additional text files or anything else. So any audio or video on a system will have and can have live captioning. We can even change the caption style quickly by going from large text to small capitals only if we wanted to, or even a yellow on blue setup. And I'll show you what that looks like full screen. It makes it really, really accessible for any user. And what about if you wanted to record your own voice to type? Yeah, that's huge. So let's go back into Word real quickly here, and we'll maximize this. And let's just start typing. So we would, of course, be able to type. But what if we don't have the use of our hands, or maybe uh, you know your hands are full with kids, or anything else for that sure. matter? How do we get our voice into text? So by hitting Windows and H, in Windows 11, we can start typing. And you'll notice that it works that quickly. Wow, so it sounds like modern Windows 11 Pro devices really are in a class of their own. For sure. Yeah, Mitch, thank you so much for joining us. You can learn more about how modern Windows 11 Pro devices help you rise above by visiting connection.com slash Windows 11.